In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide a pop-up, like this one, once data is ready to go. So for example, if you've got um, some kind of a lengthy process happening in your workflows, you want to show a loading screen, we're going to set it up so that that loading screen goes away just like it did once your data is ready. In this case, it's going to be the creation of a PDF, and then once that PDF is ready to view, that pop-up goes away. Here's my PDF. So let's take a look at the setup. I've got a couple elements on this page. I've got this green create PDF button to kick everything off. I've got a link element that will be used to view the PDF. This is only going to be visible once the PDF is ready, so I've got a condition on it to only be visible when that's true. Um, and then I've got my pop-up, of course, which is designed to have a full screen color, a little bit of a blur in the background, um, some text to let the user know that something is happening, and as a rotating icon as well. So um, the way that this is going to work is that we're going to cl click on the button and it'll generate a PDF and then it will make a change to the current user by saving that PDF to a file field um, under the user. So you can see here I've got a PDF field that is a type file. So once that PDF is generated, it will be saved here. So this this field is what we're going to um, create like a watch action for so that whenever a change is made to this field we'll be able to hide that loading pop-up. So this is how that works. I'm going to take you to the workflow for this button. There are a couple things that I've kind of preset here. So the first thing is going to be um, when the button's clicked we'll show the pop-up um, which is a show action under element actions here. Show pop-up and then I'm going to generate the PDF. I'm not going to go into how this plugin works. Um, I'm only using this just as an example because this particular action um, usually takes several seconds to get through, so it's a good example, um, good use case for this kind of a feature for the loading screen. Um, so I've just got that set up. Once this is done generating the PDF, I will make a change to the user and save that file, that that result, um, which is a file, to this PDF field for the current user. So this will actually get the PDF created, but what this doesn't do is hide the pop-up once this process is done. So that's what we're going to set up here. First thing you need to do is create a custom event. So we'll go to the custom section here, create a custom event. I'm going to call this hide loading pop-up and it's going to take a user as a type of thing because ultimately we're going to be looking out for a field change under the user type. And then the only thing that happens when we trigger this custom event is that we hide the pop-up, which is an element action. We're going to hide and select our pop-up. Okay, so how do we set up the watch? How do, we, how do we tell Bubble to look out for that field? Well, this action is also found under the custom actions here, so I'm going to insert a new action, custom events, down at the bottom, and we're going to use this one, trigger a custom event when data changes. Okay, so it kind of pre-filled some things for me because I've only got one custom event. If you had several, you'll have a list to choose from, so it kind of automatically selected that one for me. Um, the workflow data, meaning, you know, which thing do I want to set up a watch for? It's going to be the current user. And then the field to watch is going to be that PDF field. Okay, so we'll show the pop-up. We'll say, hey, keep an eye on this PDF field for the current user. When something changes there, trigger this event here, which will in turn hide that pop-up. And this will only be triggered once these actions are complete. So once the PDF is generated, um, then being saved to the current user. Okay. So that's actually it, that's the setup. So let's give it a preview. That link element, by the way, that's gonna show up here, that's only visible when that PDF field has a value. So create PDF, you can see kind of slightly, <laughs> there's a blue loading bar at the top that's going through that generate PDF action. Um, that one, it does typically take a little while. So now that's gone, we have our PDF is ready. I can click on this and view my PDF here. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.